Opacity and flow are two things that can be quite confusing to some people who are not sure which one to use in what scenario and exactly what the difference is. Well, it's really, really straightforward. and I'm going to show it to you now super quick. So press B for my brush tool and I've got a bright red color as my foreground color. Now with opacity and flow both at 100%, as you can imagine, if I draw down, it's just drawing down the full solid color. Nothing more, nothing less. So at least we know everything's working. And the only difference, as I lower the opacity to 10%, I'll say the only difference between opacity and flow is in a click. And what I mean by that is, if I click my mouse or my tablet pen down with opacity at 10%, and I scribble on top of myself, I'll just scribble back and forth like this. As you can see, the color that's being put down is very light, so it's 10% of the overall red. If I let go of my mouse and my tablet pen, click down again, and then scribble back on top, Areas where I'd already drawn, it's now putting another 10% on, so it's making it go darker. Let go, click again, and keep scribbling. And you can see what's happening here. Where I've previously drawn, when I let go and re-click and scribble, it's building up another 10% and another and another and another and another. You get the idea by now. So that builds up the density of the brush every time you click and redraw. Whereas with flow, and I'm going to put the flow setting even lower, um, just for this test, if I click down with the same brush, but with a flow lowered and scribble back and forth. So I'm not taking my mouse or pen tablet off here. I'm just keeping everything held down. You can see that's building up the color on top of itself in the same manner, but without me having to let go of the button or lift the tablet pen, I'm just keep them going in one smooth single motion. And it really is as simple as that.